and Viet Minh. I'm actually going to write on the board, so we'll leave it up. The Viet Minh was an independent revolutionary army. Their only goal was independence. Okay? I we wouldn't call it an army, we call it a group. And one thing to note, they were not communists. Their only goal was the independence of Vietnam. I think in many ways, we can compare them to the American Minutemen. Do you guys remember those? Yeah. The Minutemen were basically American peasants or civilians who were ready to go to war at a minute notice. That was, that was their deal. And they kind of became, we kind of idolized them as this like, this symbol of like, what's great about America. But, like, look at these guys who will just, you know, put down their, their, their like, farming tools, pick up their weapons, and fight for their country. And that is exactly what the Viet Minh were. They were in many ways folk heroes. They were freedom fighters. Wait, so they were fighting against? They were French. fighting against French colonial oppression. Oh, okay. Question. You wrote um, not communist after group. Does that mean that the group wasn't communist or that the revolutionaries weren't communist? They did not have communist motives. All the Viet Minh wanted was independence for Vietnam. They wanted to be able to, uh, Rock, so you can just find a seat wherever. They wanted to be, to be able to govern their own nation. Seems pretty reasonable, right? Mm -hmm. I have a, this is kind of how I see the Viet Minh. I mean, <laughs> maybe without uniforms, but they were pretty poorly equipped, but they were just everyday people. They weren't some <clears throat> elite group, like specialist forces. They were peasants and farm workers who'd had enough. <coughs> and they'd been fighting the French on and off for about 15 years. And we're going to see all this <coughs> ahead at the NBN Fu. We, we talked about it a little bit in the past unit, but I want to... I really want to dive into this, because the NBN Fu is both a fascinating event, and I think it really foreshadows... Do you guys know what that word means? Yes. Yeah. It kind of, it predicts a lot of what's going to happen in America's struggle in the war in Vietnam. So what happened was, <coughs> the French wanted a pitched battle. <coughs> a pitched battle mean, meaning, we're going to send out all of our guys, you're going to send out all of your guys, and we're just going to fight. And whoever wins, wins. Because up until now, the Viet Minh, would have, they, they would just disappear into the woods. They would attack. And then as soon as the, the French started fighting back, they would just vanish and go back to their farms and become normal peasants again. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of like superheroes in this sense. Uh, with guns. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the, fr the French strategy was, hey, this isn't working for us. Like, we don't like how they're just kind of running away. So we're going we're gonna to set up <coughs> camp. We're going to build a base on a known Viet Minh supply line. Basically, like basically saying, look, look, guys, look, Viet Minh, if you want to survive, if you want your supplies to keep coming in, you have to get us out of the way. You have to kill all of us. They had about 15,000 troops. Um, it turned into a two-month siege. They airdropped in supplies and troops because they were just they were they were struggling. It was not going as well as they hoped. The French. Yes, the French. Whereas the Viet Minh, their leader was Vo, I believe that's pronounced, like, it's kind of pronounced Win, Vo Win Gap. He was the current, like, military leader of the Viet Minh. Basically what they did was they just encircled the NBN Fu. And actually, I want to, yeah, with about 50,000 troops. I love this picture, because it gives, like, a good image of what's going on. Like, here we have this French base in the middle of a valley. And here we should have, like, Viet Minh all in the hill surrounding it. And so what the Viet Minh did, because the French were, technologically, they had just better guns. The Viet Minh just dug series and series of trenches, just getting closer and closer to the French positions 
to the point where they could just swarm them with their massive numbers. And it worked quite well. Uh, the French got so desperate that they started paratrooper, like, parachuting in troops and supplies. I want you to think about the concept of this for a second. Here you have your army of men surrounded by enemy soldiers, and you wanted to drop troops in from the sky. Think if you were one of these guys. I'd be so scared. How are you getting out of this? Oh my god. Why did they shot them all the way? Yeah, they probably did. That'd be kind of hard to shoot, but yes, absolutely. Oh, that'd be... Oh, what? really? What? Well, they like, were hanging them above where the other bad troops were. Yeah. Shoot them. You could definitely try to shoot them. Oh my yeah. god. I was just going to flame through them. Or shoot the rare shoot them and they die. <laughs> <laughs> one thing... <laughs> this is all. <awesome. laughs> one other factor... Oh, question. <coughs> Is DNB in a place or a person or what is it? It is the name of this valley. Okay. That's a good question. So what happened was, or like one, one thing that happened, was that the French severely underestimated the Viet Minh. The French believed, we have the technology, we have these cool guns, we are the better soldiers, we're going to force them to come out and fight us, and we're just going to crush them, it'll be the end of their little revolution, and... Vive la France. <laughs> What's that mean? Uh, long live France, I believe. <laughs> I don't actually know. I don't speak French. <laughs> 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 Way to call me out, thank you. Okay, so. Yeah, French people are really good at that. Like, one fascinating story from this event <laughs> was... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all of these, like, there's a story, like, the Viet Minh peasants, who, they had artillery, they had, like, the big guns that would launch up a distance. But... Look at this terrain. Look at this country. It's just mountains. So what they did was they just disassembled it. They disassembled these huge guns and just carried them, either on their backs or just like rolled them along on logs. They carried them across the country and just set them up in the hills. And I mean, look at this. So, like here's the we have the French base down here, kind of in this little valley. All up in these hills were Viet Minh artillery. So just huge guns. Just firing down on the French. <laughs> and the French are just sitting down. Just one. So we're going to take about just two minutes. Um, just, go na uh, just go with your neighbors and discuss. What do you think of the French strategy? It sounds kind of like a good plan, don't you think? Um, so I want you to look at this and think about what were two things that that lost this battle for the French. Yeah. Take about two minutes to discuss that. Kind of a stupid idea. Overconfidence. Overconfidence. How so? 